looking at how other psi tests are BLT. Summary structure. HTML pages are text documents. X. HTML uses tags characters that sit inside angles. X brackets to give the information base around special meaning. Tags are often referred to as elements. X. Tags usually come in pairs. The opening tag denotes XTHE start of a piece of content. The closing tag denotes the end. Opening tags can carry attributes, which tell us more. That out the content of that element. Attributes require a name and a value. X. To learn HTML, you need to know what tags are. It's available for you to use, what they do, and where they can go. Headings and paragraphs. X bold, italic, emphasis. X structural and semantic markup. X. Text T. 2. When creating a web page, you add tags. Known as markup to the contents of the page. These tags provide extra meaning and allow browsers to show users the appropriate structure for the page. In this chapter we focus on how to add markup to the text that appears on your pages. You will learn about Structural markup The elements that you can use to describe both headings and paragraphs. Semantic markup which provides extra information, such as where emphasis is placed in a sentence, that something you have written is a quotation and who said it, the meaning of acronyms, and so on. R-S-U-L-T This is a main heading. This is a level 2 heading. This is a level 3 heading. This is a level 4 heading. This is a level 5 heading. This is a level 6 heading. Chapter 02 forward slash headings dot html html. Headings. HTML has six levels of headings. Is used for main headings. Is used for subheadings. If there are further sections under the subheadings then the Element is used, and so on. Browsers display the contents of headings at different sizes. The contents of an element is the largest, and the contents of an element is the smallest. The exact size at which each browser shows the headings can vary slightly. Users can also adjust the size of text in their browser. You will see how to control the size of text, its color, and the fonts used when we Article R-S-U-L-T Chapter 02 forward slash paragraphs dot html html To create a paragraph, surround the words that make up the paragraph with an opening Tag and closing Tag by default, a browser will show each paragraph on a new line with some space between it and any subsequent paragraphs. Paragraphs A paragraph consists of one or more sentences that form a self-contained unit of discourse. The start of a paragraph is indicated by a new line. Text is easier to understand when it is split up into units of text. For example, a book may have chapters. Chapters can have subheadings. Under each heading there will be one or more paragraphs. HTML This is how we make a word appear. Italic It's a potato. Solanum tegorojum 
Captain Cook sailed to Australia on the Endeavour. Chapter 02 forward slash italic dot html html rsult This is how we make a word appear. Old. Inside a product description you might see some key features. In bold. Chapter 02 forward slash bold dot html html RSULT by enclosing words in the tags and we can make characters appear italic. The element also represents a section of text that would be said in a different way from surrounding content such as technical terms, names of ships, foreign words, thoughts, or other terms that would usually be italicized by enclosing words in the tags and we can make characters appear bold. The element also represents a section of text that would be presented in a visually different way for example keywords in a paragraph although the use of the element does not imply any additional meaning. Bold italic article R-S-U-L-T On the 4th TH Of September you will learn about E equals MC 2 The amount of Co 2 If the atmosphere grew by 2 ppm in 2009 1 Chapter 02 forward slash superscript and subscript dot html html. The element is used to contain characters that should be superscripts such as the suffixes of dates or mathematical concepts like raising a number to a power such as 22. The element is used to contain characters that should be subscript. It is commonly used with footnotes or chemical formulas such as H2. Zero. Superscript. Subscript. RSULT. The moon is drifting away from Earth. The moon is drifting away from Earth. The moon is drifting away from Earth. Chapter 02 forward slash white space dot html html. In order to make code easier to read, web page authors often add extra spaces or start some elements on new lines. When the browser comes across two or more spaces next to each other, it only displays one space. Similarly, if it comes across a line break, it treats that as a single space too. This is known as white space collapsing. You will often see that web page authors take advantage of white space collapsing to indent their code in order to make it easier to follow. White SPAs. Article. Venus is the only planet that rotates clockwise. Jupiter is bigger than all the other planets combined. Chapter 02 forward slash horizontal rules dot html html rsult The Earth gets 100 tons heavier every day due to falling space dust. Chapter 02 forward slash line breaks dot html html rsult to create a break between themes such as a change of topic in a book or a new scene in a play, you can add a horizontal rule between sections using the tag. There are a few elements that do not have any words between an opening and closing tag. They are known as empty elements and they are written differently. An empty element usually has only one tag. 
Before the closing angled bracket of an empty element, there will often be a space and a forward slash character. Some web page authors miss this out, but it is a good habit to get into. As you have already seen, the browser will automatically show each new paragraph or heading on a new line. But if you wanted to add a line break inside the middle of a paragraph, you can use the line break tag. Line breaks. Horizontal rules. Visual editors often resemble word processors. Although each editor will differ slightly, there are some features that are common to most editors that allow you to control the presentation of text. Headings are created by highlighting text then using a drop-down box to select a heading. Bold and italic text are created